Welcome back. Today we are going to be watching part one of a three-part video that I'm going to be doing. Um, this is the top 10 most explosive moments from Love & Hip Hop Atlanta. This is the current season. I didn't watch it, but I have been keeping up somewhat. Like y'all have seen me react to some of the things. I reacted to Scrappy and Mama D. Um, I reacted to Yandy and Samantha because they met up again. It seems like this season has been decent based on the clips that I saw. So yeah, let's watch the top 10 explosive moments. So who do you so think you what? are to jump into something like that? I am. Who are you? I am Keisha. And if anything happens, if I feel I she feel feels you. threatened, I'm you jumping up at anybody, I whether it be a I man or a woman. So we can turn it up and we can turn it down. No, no, that, no. That's no, reason. Trying to keep it right? down. So what you gonna do? I'm gonna follow your lead. Why is she doing all that? Keep it. What's up? I leap. Already leaped from the back. It wasn't no sucker move, though. You got up. It definitely was. So Jock still cheating. That's a fraternity test? That's true. Never once said, yo, I'm dating your ex. And now you have a problem with me when I'm pretty much doing everything that I've done broad daylight. Come on, my girl. Listen, at the end of the day, I don't give a f Richie D is going to do Richie D the way Richie He D never got over Richie Erica. D, the end. <laughs> so what's he been waiting on Safari to mess up. San Diego, which was honestly just some drunk flirt. It was nothing. I ain't even think of it like that. Honestly, I ain't thinking about that. No, no, no. Ain't no drunk flirting. You in love, Rich. I see it all in your eyes. You in love. So Why do you always got his shirt off? Good luck. I ain't bailing you out, bro. Besides the fact that y'all was already on the, going through y'all divorce. Like, y'all came like to the island. You married, though. You know, that thing different, though. Y'all feel y'all can get back together? <laughs> Scrap. It would need a lot of, you know what I'm saying? Y'all kids are young. That's her hit me with when me and Ben were talking about the boys. I think about that with my kids now. I look at them, I be like, cuz. But once we break that up, other other dudes come in and wanna feel like they they old. <laughs> this is part of it. You know what I'm saying? Oh, he don't like you. Oh yeah. You know the kids. I think about that every time I wanna pick up my bags and walk about that house, cuz. so upset <laughs> that's what you get for being dramatic i actually think that divorce ain't really hit safari another man raising your the kids man, you know with your wife <laughs> those things can take time to figure out and you do a chip and the chip look like it hit your ass back in the head so that was really god saying knock knock wake up you definitely gotta keep walking at that point you gotta go home <laughs> <laughs> it's 
not funny, Joe. It's not. He can be on the outside looking in like, that, that's my family, bro. The street's cold, bro. Ain't nothing knocked up, bro. Yeah, you gotta speed off. <laughs>
just get up and come this time. Well, I didn't feel like you wanted me to. Well, no, that's not true. Come. Because, oh, no, because it's always been an open no, door. No, it ain't come been whenever always. You get. I don't have to invite you. I You're my dad. Look, you know, Dang. I had a bunch of medical conditions and time wasn't right. They not even before. starting off this on the right thing foot. I did want to say that last phone conversation that we had had. On the one way you told me to go myself. for that because that was the wrong way to handle it but i think that there comes a time in your life where you can be man enough to admit your wrongs too hell i am man enough oh well i said when i'm wrong but i'm not wrong about anything not wrong about nothing yeah, well, well our relationship is the way it is because of you wait what's their relationship you literally just talking about this with a scrappy and mama d thing i was literally just talking about this with the scrappy and mama d situation like they all anytime you bring something up with a parent and you tell them and you try to explain something to them they're talking about what they did do oh well i did the best that i could and i tried and well you know sometimes the best just wasn't good enough <laughs> You talk about you did the best you could, but you ain't seen your daughter in seven years. Like, your best just was not good enough, sir. He has an answer to every question, and the words be long as hell. Lady, <laughs> the There's a way and a means that we could come together and make things more pleasant for each other before time runs out. But I feel like there's a lot of things that we do need to talk about. What? You got to understand the way you feel about Kurt. And the things that you say about him, that's my life. Very valid. That's my husband. Kirk has he done some things. Where he kids. Ain't that right? Now I get that. A few kids. That means he ducked out on his responsibility. He didn't duck out on one. nothing. The crazy part about my dad and Kirk is they haven't even really spent a lot of time together for him to So he don't know him like that. And he want to sit here and point the finger at a man when you don't even do what you're supposed to do as a man. Well, that's Tomorrow, probably why. Last you tripping. Guess what? And he always been a father of his kids. Way more than I can say for you. Mm. I know what you Guess did. what? Why did he never come out of the, why did he take the your... same reason why you ain't with the last two several women you ass been with. Well, guess what? That don't always bother you. So, oh. you know what? You can kiss my ass. Oh Lord, this is bad. Okay, I'll meet with the mother. Okay, 
that means a lot. I'm gonna pick you up. Cool. So you can go see him out too. Right, thank you. Uh, <laughs> you can see him out. And then they just say bye after doing all of that. But yeah, like I was saying, um, her father seems jealous of Kirk because I don't get why he keeps comparing the two. Like he's saying, well, okay, I get why he doesn't like Kirk, like everything he's done to Rashida. And that's her father. Of course, he he not going to be too fond of Kirk if he doing all that stuff to her. So I, that's understandable. But it seems like when he brings up things like he wants Rashida to forgive him and I did the best I could as a parent and all of this. He always seems to bring up the fact, well, oh, Kirk has done way worse to you and you still forgave him. And like, why are you comparing yourself to my husband? <laughs> Not to say that he's jealous in the way that he wants Rashida, but maybe jealous of the, I guess, the unconditional love that Rashida has for Kirk versus him. And that's her father. But, um... You've been gone for seven years. <laughs> what do you expect? Again, I didn't watch this season, so I don't know how that ended up going, the whole dinner with them and Kirk, but I, I hope that worked out. They seem to end on a good note. <laughs> they didn't really resolve anything. At least, you know, they left somewhat friendly. <laughs> uh, but yeah, um, that was that. We're going to stop there. And yeah, that was my thoughts on part one. What were your thoughts? Leave them down below. Make sure you like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.